what's up so in today's video i'll be showing y'all how to create this diy glueless ponytail so if you're interested go ahead and stay tuned so for my ponytail i'll be using the beauty forever hair this is one of my favorite hairlines hands down the quality is always top notch and i just love it okay and here's the hair freshly co-washed i love like a deep wavy curly ponytail so yes honey so here's all the tools you'll need to create this ponytail i do have all of these items in my amazon store so i'll list everything down below in that description box these are basically like wig making items so it's really easy to find right in my amazon store link down below so for starters i want y'all to know i did not know what i was doing at all i've never done this before it was literally just an idea in my head and i was just going off of what i thought was best so i wanted to cut this into a v-shape this neck into a v-shape to um basically make my ponytail that was entirely too big if i was to do this again i would make this v like half the size that it you know end up being because it was way too big <laughs> it still worked out but it was just too big so as y'all can see here i'm measuring up the tracks and just placing those um tracks on the v-shape and i'm just gonna go all the way up with that with my hot glue gun um put something underneath y'all see me switching to you know putting this on the beauty forever box because i was burning my little fangles so if you put it like on a um surface that you can easily like rip the glue off and it don't get stuck to it you get what i'm saying then that would be perfect and i just kept cutting the tracks um going up all the way up until the top now if you using different lengths you obviously want to start with the longest length first but for me both of my bundles were 24 inches so i didn't have to worry about that but that's definitely something to keep in mind if you are working with different lengths So it should look like this once you're done gluing. I used almost the whole two bundles, but I didn't want it super, super full. So I stopped here. And like I said, if I was to do this over, it would definitely been smaller. Because as you can see, the widest part of this triangle is going to be what's wrapped around your actual ponytail. So my ponytail ain't that big, so I did not need all of this room. But you know, for the first time, this is just what I came up with. And this, it, it worked. It definitely works out. And then you want to go ahead and sew on the um, clipping arrangements to, you know, have this ponytail clip onto your actual ponytail. So I use these wig clips. You can also use the wig clips that like snap. That honestly might be a little easier. I don't know. But these clips work pretty good. It did hurt a little bit. Um, I think that was a part of me making this too big though because when I wrapped it around they kind of both of the clips were in the same place if that makes sense y'all will see that later on but I'm just sewing this um, sewing both of the clips on and that's going to act as the clip in ponytail. So to finish up, you're going to obviously cut off that extra lace. You don't need it. And y'all, this was a whole epic fail. I just included it because this is really what I did. I thought that I would, you know, sew that little bit of hair on to like be the wraparound piece. But I end up using way more hair than that. So, I mean, it's a good idea. But just, you would just want to put way more hair than that. So moving on, you want to go ahead and make sure your hair is slicked down into a little bun. And I'm using my favorite edge control, Amber J. Hold it. I'm using that to slick down my edges making sure everything is nice and sleek before I put this ponytail on. So now it's time to put on this ponytail, hunty. And you just want to start by putting one side of the ponytail into your ponytail and wrap it around as y'all can see when i was talking about this being too big it would have been perfect for it to like stop right there but it had to go all the way around basically meeting up with the other side which caused it to like hurt a little bit but as you can see it worked it worked so i just grabbed some hair out of that that's why my little my little anchor piece was a whole fail because i grabbed a whole <laughs> section of hair to um you know hide all of this so you definitely need a lot of hair to like wrap around just keep that in mind and i just wrapped it into I tucked it in and that's it like can y'all believe this DIY clip on 
glueless removable ponytail like what girl you did that okay so now i gotta show y'all my mistakes okay you see how i did use hot glue and it's not so bendy next time i would definitely sew it so that way it could like curve and not be so stiff but you know it still hides like the glueless part which i wanted to show y'all like you see how it look like that but it flips right over onto like that part to conceal it so this is it y'all i was so happy with how this turned out like i plan to take this idea and you know start selling them on my own but it would definitely be improved and machine wefted and sewn and all of that stuff so it can really last you like basically forever so yeah i'm just really happy though this is a really cool diy project if you just want a summertime ponytail you don't know how to do the invisible ponytail or you just don't want to be involved with glue and you wasting bundles boo okay like period poo <laughs> for real though this is the ponytail for you okay this is the hot girl summer staple ponytail because Ain't nobody got time for wigs in the summer. Ain't nobody got time to try to be a hot girl and you got all this stuff on your head. So having this little sleek, chic ponytail, something you can reuse. Okay, we're going to call this the Tiara J Hot Girl Summer Ponytail. You know, I know this is nothing new. I know, you know, drawstring ponytails have been around for decades, okay? We know mama was wearing the little drawstring, the little, you know, comb that came in. Y'all know the drawstrings and all the clip-on. We, we already got these, but... This is just such a unique ponytail because it resembles that invisible ponytail where you get like, you get you get to elongate the hair basically with how this is constructed in that V shape. So, you know, you can have like longer ponytail. You can reuse some quality hair, okay? We're not dealing with no synthetics and no tangling and nothing like that. You can use some quality hair when making this ponytail and it can last you like forever, okay? Go jump in the pool. This will still hold up. I approve. I approve this DIY clip-on glueless ponytail, um, hot girl summer ponytail. So if you approve, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Comment down below. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's all free, okay? Follow me on Instagram at Jazz. Thank y'all so much for watching. Love y'all. Be blessed. Stay beautiful. And I'll see y'all in my next video.